these are the ingredients you'll need. Hey y'all, today we're gonna be making Cracker Barrel's easy, cheesy, delicious copycat hash brown casserole. It's a favorite of my family and I hope you guys enjoy it too. Let's get ready. Here, I'm chopping up the onions really finely so that you won't have big chunks of onions floating around in your hash brown casserole. Unless you really, really love onions, but I don't think that most of the people that'll be eating this will enjoy biting into huge chunks of onions. Make sure that you have about half an onion cut up. I already had a couple of onions, so I just chopped up the rest of these and now I'm putting them in this blue container for the rest of the onion supply. So now you get your sour cream together and you wanna have one cup of sour cream. And we like to buy these at Sam's Club. They're super cheap and they're huge and you can never have enough sour cream in your hand in your fridge, <laughs> not in your hand. So I squirted all that sour cream in there, and then I'm gonna scoop it into this bowl. And now that all the sour cream's in there, we're gonna put a can of cream of chicken soup in there. Just dump that big blob of yellow out into the sour cream. Looks disgusting, tastes delicious. Now we're putting half a teaspoon of black pepper and I'm dumping all those onions in there and I'm just gonna mix it all up until it's all mixed together. Now this is a cheesy casserole, so of course you're gonna need some cheese. I'm using this Colby Jack here, a full cup of it. Um, the recipe calls for cheddar cheese, but it doesn't really matter what kind of cheese you use, whatever you like, whatever you and your family like. So now I'm going to be adding my hash browns to this mixture. The recipe says that you should thaw out the hash browns first, but I don't bother doing that and it always turns out fine for me. You need about 30 ounces of the hash browns. I have this huge six pound bag that I got from Sam's Club, so I just kind of eyeballed it, but that's the amount that the recipe calls for, 30 ounces. And here I'm just adding one stick of melted butter to the mixture. The only difference about thawing the hash brown first is that it's a little easier to mix together if they're thawed, but it's okay if you don't. You just have to use a little more elbow grease. So here I decided that I wanted to add a little bit of sharp cheddar to mine and you can do that if you want to. I just like things really cheesy. This is looking delicious already. I'm hungry. And then you just spray your casserole dish. This is a nine by 13 baking pan. And as you can see, I'm just lumping all the yummy, cheesy, potatoey, oniony goodness into the baking dish. And then I'm gonna flatten it out and just spread it all around so that it cooks evenly and it looks aesthetically pleasing. Mm -hmm. 
And I do like to cover my hash brown casserole with some aluminum foil. And then I'm just going to sit it in the oven. I put mine on the top rack, but I don't think it really matters. You can put it on the lower rack if you would like. And you're going to set the temperature for 350 degrees. And you're going to cook it for about 45 to 55 minutes. And then you're going to take it back out after that time. And you're going to sprinkle some more cheese on the top of it. And then you're gonna pop that back into the oven for about 10 minutes until the cheese gets melty like you like it and the potatoes get crispy. And here you have the final product. It's so delicious and easy, guys. It's great for birthday parties, barbecues, everything. Bon appetit.